I wanted to show y'all a clip. It's a video of Elon talking to, to a reporter at BBC. BBC. A reporter at BBC. And it was basically this reporter pressing Elon talking about how Twitter promotes hateful content and hateful tweets and stuff like that. And Elon was asking a reporter to give him an example. And the reporter couldn't give him no type of example. He was just really talking out his butt. And then Elon started confronting the man about BBC's reporting. And their whatever, you know, all this news BS that they push. And he was pressing them about misinformation on that stuff. I'm not going to say it, and I might not even play the whole, honestly, video because I don't want to get shadow banned. You know, YouTube already be on my butt, and I'm just now starting to get more into the algorithm. I appreciate everybody that's been showing more and more love to the channel. If you are new, make sure you subscribe and turn on the notifications so you can keep in touch with the energy. But, yeah, you know what? Hey, let me go ahead and pop up this video for y'all. We on Twitter. Hey, y'all go follow me on Twitter, though. St. Mo, Third Eye Mo. Y'all go follow me. Let me know y'all came from the stream. Came from YouTube. We're going to talk to, talk to the rest of, for, for the rest of Twitter. You, you see more hate speech personally. I would say I would see more hateful content in that. In that content Twitter. you don't like or, or hateful? What do you mean? To describe a hateful thing. Why? Yeah, I mean, you know, just content that will solicit a reaction to something that may include something that is slightly racist or slightly sexist, those kinds of those kinds of things. So you think if I'm, something is slightly sexist, it should be banned? I, no, is I'm that not, what you're saying? I'm not saying anything. I'm saying. Well, I'm just curious. What you, I'm, I'm trying to understand what you mean by hateful con content. And I'm asking for specific examples. Um, and if and you just said that if something is slightly sexist, that's hateful content. Does that mean that it should be banned? Well, you've asked me. I don't really think as hateful because most most comedy I mean I don't know people have a different perspective about it I don't think that's really hateful everything that people post could be considered slightly sexist especially like people talking about, oh men are not shit or girls are this and that or you know what I mean most of the time it's really cap motherfuckers just talking shit not knowing what the hell they really talking about they just talking out their ass like I said my feed whether it's got less or more, it, I'd say it's got slightly more. That's but, why I'm asking for examples. Can, right. you, can you name one example? I, I honestly don't need. I, I, honestly, you I don't. You can't name I, a single example. I'll tell you why, because I don't actually use that for you <laughs> feed anymore, because I, I just don't particularly like it. But you and said actually, a lot of people. A lot of people are quite similar. I, I, I only. Well, I only well, look well, at hang my, on a second. You said you've seen more hateful content, but you can't name a single example. Not, not even for real, one. Though, just name. I'm not sure I've used that feed for the last three or four weeks, and I. Well, then how did you see the hateful content? Content. Because I've been I've been using I've been using Twitter since you take it. Because I was the told last to six Okay, so then you must have topic. at some point seen the you for you hateful content. I'm asking for one example. Right. And I, you I, can't I, give a single I, one. I, bro literally has a Twitter app opened. Just look through your for you page, bro, and point an example to Mr. Elon. <laughs> and, and and I'm saying I've, I then I I say sir that you don't know what you're talking about. Really? Yes, because you can't give me a single Dang. example of hateful con of content. Not even one tweet. And yet you claimed that the hateful content was high. Well, that's a false. No, what I claimed. You just lied. What, no, no, what I claimed was uh, there are many uh, organizations that say that that kind of information is on the rise. Now, whether, whether it has on my feed or not. Give me one example. I mean, I, right. And Literally, can you Someone like the, the uh, Strategic Dialogue uh, Institute in the, in the UK, they will say that. So you, they, Look, people will say all sorts of nonsense. I'm literally asking for a right. single example, and you can't name one. Right. And as, as I've already said, I don't use that feed. But let's well, then, How are you agreeing with Elon, but uh, disagreeing with him at the same time? Like, if you want to talk to him about a problem, if you're confronting somebody about a problem you have, then you have a problem with it. It's easy for you to point out the problem that you have a problem with. It's easy for you to point out the things that you have a problem with. So why is it so hard for this man to point out what he has a problem with? <laughs> then how would you know? That I don't you, think this is getting anywhere. You literally said you experienced more hateful content 
and then couldn't name a single okay. example. Right, and as I said, I that's absurd. I haven't, I haven't actually <laughs> looked at that feed. Then how would you know there's hateful content? Hey, because Elo, I'm saying that's what I saw a few weeks ago. I can't give you an exact example. He's a troll. Let's move on. We have, we only have a certain amount of time. Um, well, wow. COVID misinformation. Oh God, here it comes. This is what I was talking about right here. That what? What he said? Wow, he said. All right, so look, y'all. Pay attention to what Elon is about to say. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. I didn't say it. The richest man in the world said it. You Amazing. The COVID, you've changed the COVID misinformation. Has rules. BBC changed his COVID misinformation? The BBC does not set the rules on Twitter, so I'm asking you. No, I'm talking about the BBC's misinformation about COVID. I'm, I'm, I'm literally Has asking you about... You Bro, just froze. <laughs> you changed the labels, the COVID misinformation labels. There used to be a policy, and then it then disappeared. Why, why do that? Well, it, it, COVID is no longer a, an Wait. issue. Wait, what did he say? A policy, and then it then disappeared. Why, why do that? Well, it, it, COVID is no longer uh, an issue. Does the BBC uh, hold itself at all responsible for misinformation re regarding ma masking and, and side effects of vaccinations and not reporting on that at all? And what about the fact that the BBC was put under pressure by the British government to change its editorial policy? Are you aware of that? This is, a, this is not an interview about the BBC. Oh, so. you thought it wasn't? <laughs> and this, I see now why you've done Twitter Spaces. I am not a representative of the BBC's editorial policy. I want to make that clear. Let's talk about something else. You want I'm to talk about the BBC? You too. All right, let's, 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 talk about, let's talk about something else. You weren't expecting that. Let's talk about something else. Let's talk about something else. Y'all seeing how he tried to just flip the... He, he went from all smiling and now he's looking all concerned, looking behind the camera like, was, was Elon supposed to say this? Come on, bro. We see it. We see it. We know y'all's real agenda. We see it. Caught in 4K. Bro got caught lacking. And Elon... Elon exposing it. <laughs> Elon just Elon just exposing it. He, he making memes and stuff about the BBC. I said BBC could come Twitter. Then to my surprise, a reporter shows up. Wow. Nice. That's how they do you, man. I, I mean, yeah. I, would, I would only just add. <laughs> Nah, man, Elon is something else, bro. He he's like like I'm showing y'all on the screen, bro. He's 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 exposing a lot of stuff. I mean, as much as people don't like this man, he himself has said he's from another dimension or another planet, or whatever. His people are not from here. Mo, there's a video of Elon speaking on senior retention too. For real, I ain't see that. I don't know if Elon is retaining like that. I mean, he he's a pretty wealthy guy. I mean, he he has the financial stability in his life to have as many kids as he wants. So, <laughs> but yeah, I, I I thought this man has like a whole bunch of kids. I'm not sure. But yeah, Elon is something else. He had changed his uh the Twitter name too, like legal name I think to S X Corp. So he's making Twitter an open source social media platform for all really that's why you see a lot of other um countries content now you you think you're just on american servers no it's like you you st you're i don't know if y'all see it but i at least see it i see people's content from all around the countries you know what i mean from different countries not just in america not just in the u.s so I think that's something Elon is working on. Next, he might be in integrating digital currencies into his app, so he can start. You know, I seen he was making a he was making a subscription based thing, like I was talking about 
uh, to y'all earlier. Make sure y'all sub up. Join the members of the Saint Squad. <laughs> uh, he's making like a subscription based thing for t uh, creators on on Twitter. Talking about X, R P X X X. Yeah, so, Shiba Toshi Nakamoto, <laughs> the the guy, that, the creator of Dogecoin. Elon subscribes to you, so you can go, go to this guy's Twitter account. He has a subscription badge. My right. bad, y'all. My bad, y'all. But yeah, like I was saying, Elon is making a subscription based thing on Twitter. It's already been kind of a thing, but he's gonna be integrating digital currencies, so you can pay creators with different currencies for real, for real now. Um, that's just a, a skeptical you know conclusion that i'm coming to but he's he's kind of already pointed it out in many different ways that he's already doing it um and he's talked about cryptocurrencies in many different ways so yeah like i said look you can go to this guy's uh thing and subscribe right here you know i don't know how good uh twitter subscription stuff is it might not be as good as youtube's but there you go you know, yeah, people don't like what Elon is doing with uh, Twitter and all that, but they don't see his true vision. It's just another example of why you can't let other people's opinion validate the direction you are going, going to within your life. You know what I mean?